Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be my first ever book haul. I think this is my first book haul on this channel. So these are all the books I bought from January of this year all the way till now. And there's a lot. Let's get into this. All right. So the first book I got was actually from my mom. And I just got it from my mom a couple weeks ago. She just gave it to me. My mom gives me a lot of free books. So I'm like, I'll take it. But the first one is called Kill Your Darlings by David Bell. I don't know anything about it. But I do like this cover. I think it looks pretty cool. I actually might try and read this in the following months because it's a shorter read and my mom doesn't read fantasy much. She reads usually thrillers or mysteries. So I figured we'll give this a try. This looks like a fun read. And like I said, it's pretty short. So I might actually dive into this. So I've been seeing this book around and I bought this one because it just came out. I've been seeing some people talk about it and I kind of want to try it. But it is a fantasy book and that is... The Silver Blood Promise. I almost call it Prince. No idea why. But yeah, this is one that's been going around a little bit on BookTube for the fantasy part. So I was like, I'll give this a try. I'll buy it. Support the author regardless. Granted, I didn't read it yet. Buying the books does go a long ways for authors. Okay, so I am a fan of Stephen King. I actually haven't read Stephen King in a hot minute. Usually I post one of his book reviews once in a while. Because I would like to have all of his book reviewed on this channel. I just haven't done it yet. Like, I haven't read any of his books recently to do it. Like, I did Misery a couple months ago, but that's just because I could remember everything that happens in Misery. So I just decided to post that. And speaking, you know, talking about Stephen King, I bought Holly. So I didn't buy the If You Like a Darker book yet. So maybe when I do another giant book haul video, Maybe if you like a dark will be on there. But I bought Holly because there was a really good deal. This is actually used and it's like near mint. I bought this used. That's why I got it. Because I was like, let's do it. The only time I only know Holly from The Outsider. And everyone keeps talking about she's from the Mr. Mercedes series. Which I haven't read yet. I do want to read that. But like I guess Holly's in a ton of books. So I kind of want to read the Mr. Mercedes series before I read this. Just so I know who Holly is more, I guess. But, yeah, I mean, I would like to get back into Stephen King. I just have it for a while, and I don't know why. I'll be honest, I really have no idea why. I just wasn't feeling it. So, but yeah, I got Holly. So, I recently read Hellbound Heart from Clive Barker, and I'm not gonna lie. Oh, yeah. I really like Clive Barker. Just that book alone was like, ooh, I gotta read some more of his books. So, I bought not one, but two of his books, used. The glare is not gonna be lovely. I bought Weave World. Which I heard is like his best book. So I bought Weave World. And then I bought the Great and Secret Show. Oh look, you can see my reflection. <laughs> so yeah, I bought these two books. I bought them used. They were at a used bookstore that I go to once in a while. And I think they have a really good selection of books compared to like the other ones I go to. And I really was happy to find both of these. Especially Weave World. This used bookstore I went to just opened up. The day it opened up, I saw Weave World. I'm like, perfect. So I bought it. So I think there's like four. I bought a total of like 80 books since January, which is insane to think. And some of them are going to be manga. And I'm only going to show you one volume of it. We'll get there when we get there. So the next stack that I have here is from the first one is Cormac McCarthy the road I bought this one used I heard this one's really good and so is I think he does blood meridian I think too and I heard they're both really good and I want to read no country for old men because that's one of my favorite movies I didn't know it was a book until this year so I wanted to give that a try as well but I bought the road it was used so that's kind of why but yeah I, I've been trying to buy used books not brand new books anymore so that's just saves you a lot more money doing it that way but yeah i bought the road i was pretty happy with this one bought a book from Susanna clark and it's not paranese but i thought about getting paranese but i haven't found it used yet but i bought jonathan strange and mr norvell norrell i think that's how you pronounce it this book's a heifer too but i bought this book because i saw everyone talk about paranese so much see and you can even see it i bought this at salvation army for a dollar so that's why I bought it. But yeah, see, like, I, I buy used books everywhere because it, it just saves you a lot of money. But yeah, I bought this because, honestly, I don't know anything about it. But everyone talks about Paranisi and everyone hypes up Paranisi. And I'm trying not to, like, ride that wave of hype for books because sometimes the hype books just... I'm not 
one that gets like live into the hype sometimes not anymore i'm not so that's why i decided to do this instead all right so this book i actually just found this at barnes and noble it just looked really cool it's from darcy coates and it's the full croft ghost no idea what it's about this just looked cool i saw the cover i'm like all right i'm gonna buy it like it just bites because this year it's just there's like so many books i actually want to read that are just standalones and i'm so committed to these series and it just takes away so many so much of my time to read and it's like the books like this look how small this is prints pretty big and it looks like it's just like short chapters too that's what i really like and i sometimes just want to read those but right now i've been slowly like easing up on a lot of these bigger books and next year i think i'm gonna try to do a different approach but yeah i bought this and i might try and read this this year anyways okay so i've been seeing this on a couple of people on some channels that i like and everyone started reading it so i was like i guess i'll try it i bought this used surprise and it's pillars of the earth i heard pillars of the earth is really good so i was like i'll buy it look how thick this bad boy is i didn't realize how thick these books are hey, i bought this also from salvation army i tell you guys what go to salvation army once in a while you'll find some banger books but i bought this for a dollar so it's like that's hard to say no to you know but i bought pillars of the earth no idea what it's about besides it's building something that's all yeah i bought pillars of the earth earlier this year so i was pretty happy with that so if you guys saw my earlier video of mass perfect versus like hardcover yeah i bought a lot of hardcovers i actually probably when i do i might do in december another book haul we'll see how many more books i accumulated from there but i bought 2001 a space odyssey now this is the movie back in the 60s i've never seen it because i didn't know it was a book and i saw it was a book so i'm like i can't watch the movie until i've read the book so I'm not a big fan of sci-fi. If you guys all know, I've struggled with reading sci-fi lately. So I just haven't, I just can't find a sci-fi series or just like a novel that I'm like, wow. So hopefully 2001 A Space Odyssey will be that book. My girlfriend took me to a antique shop and I found this book there. It just sounded cool. It's called The Judas Tree, AJ, AJ Cronin's bold new bestseller the story of a brilliant doctor who destroyed every beautiful woman he touched and that's this book no idea but it sounds pretty cool so i was like look at this cover this old stuff is just so cool i tell you what and i think it's a first edition too which is just cooler it's a first it's first edition too it's a first printing which is really cool how much did i buy it for I have no idea, but it's cool. I mean, it's not in the best condition or anything, but it's just cool. I, I never seen this, so I bought it. I bought this book on Facebook Marketplace for $5, and all I hear is the hype of this book. I guess, like, for, like, um, for men, it's a deep book about men's mental health, so I was like, all right, I guess I'll buy it, and it's a little life. I don't know anything about this book except I know it's just sad. And I don't know when I'm gonna read this. I might try reading it next year because like I said, my schedule for reading next year is gonna be a little different. But I still wanna read big books. I like reading big books, but I don't like reading giant long series. And it's just, it really just drains you up. I wanna read this book real bad. And I'm actually looking forward to it. I can't wait to be depressed while reading this. So this is just a nostalgia book more than anything else. I saw it. I don't even own the first or the third book, but when I was a kid, I just saw it. So I'm like, I'll buy it. And that's, I can't even pronounce what the series is at the moment. The Barthamus trilogy, I think. I don't know. I saw the first book. Wow, this glare is awful. But I bought the first one for this, I mean the second one for this book. So I was like, I guess I'll find the other two. I'll pick them up and then I'll read them. But yeah, I just remember as a kid, these were like really popular when I was a kid. So it's, it was just like a no point. Uh, it was a no brainer, you know, to get this because like I said in one of my videos about how I started reading, I didn't read a lot when I was a kid. So now I'm like, I want to read books I just wasn't, I just didn't do when I was a kid growing up. And this is one of the trilogies I never read. So I saw this book used and that's The Maidens and no idea what it's about. I just heard it's a pretty popular book. So I decided to pick it up. I'm buying more books like this, more of these standalone books that I can review. Clearly every book I read, I'm going to review it. And it's just a book that I can read in like probably like two sittings who knows maybe i'll read it later this year because it's i'm like looking through the pages now and i just didn't realize how short some of these things are like how short this book is and the printing's pretty big so i might just read it 
no idea what this book's about, but I heard it's really good, so I kind of want to just try it out. So this book, I actually saw a lot of buzz on my Goodreads about this book. Like, it's a really good horror novel, so I'm like, that's right up my alley. And that's Flowers in the Attic. I was really bored, so I looked up, like, the most, like, 10 most disturbing books, according to Google. And I think that's going to be a future YouTube video for Halloween, so be prepared. It's one of the books. So now my mind's like, why? Why is it? You know what I'm saying? And I have no idea why, but I bought this. This is actually brand new, and I bought it, and it's a 40th anniversary one. And if you guys know me well enough, if I like this enough... I'm gonna try and find like an older one like I did with Am uh, with Amityville Horror. I'm still looking for that first edition of The Exorcist, just saying. Like there's a lot of people who are like, oh yeah, we have the mass pair pack. For a guy who likes mass pair packs, I want a hardcover for first ads. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, flowers in the attic. I don't know what this book's about. I'm assuming it's definitely not about flowers. Or maybe it is. Who knows? But I'm actually pretty excited to check this one out. Uh, when I went to that uh, antique store, I bought this too. It's called Mirage. It just looks cool. It's a mass paperback. I paid like two bucks for it. So yeah. All right. So this is actually funny. What kind of pushed me to do this video is because I actually just bought this book today. But by the time you guys see it, clearly it won't be today. It doesn't matter. But in this, in, uh, in the fall, I actually want to read some Lovecraft because I never read any Lovecraft. And I might do a poll to see if I should review each story or just review this book. I bought this that has a lot of his stories in it. And I kind of want to just read it and see how I like it. If I like it enough, I might just review each story on its own over time. Or I might just review this whole book. We'll see. Maybe I'll do a poll in the community post and see what you guys say. But we'll see what happens. And I'm pretty excited to read some Lovecraft. So I am grinding. And I might be reading this series next year. I'm a sucker for buying hardcovers for them. Because I just think they look nice. And that's why I'm like, once I read them, I want them all to be a hardcover. So that's why I haven't read them yet. But that's a Game of Thrones series. And I bought this bad boy at a used bookstore. A Storm of Swords. Because I actually don't own this one. And this actually doesn't match with the other ones I own. So now I'm like, do I either commit to these older versions or do I get the newer one? But I kind of dig this one way more. So I might just do that instead. Yeah. Now I think I'm missing a Feast of Crowns or it's the yellow hardcover. I got to double check. I think it's the second book I'm missing, which I don't remember which one that one's called. But yeah, we're one step closer to finishing all Game of Thrones. I actually might read Game of Thrones next year. I know I just said I don't want to read these like long epic fantasy series, but Game of Thrones is only five books, so I kind of just want to read it, and then I'm like, hey, I read Game of Thrones, and then I wait like everyone else, because I hear this is just really good, and to me, I really want to read it. So like I said, a lot of this now is like I bought manga too, and I bought volumes 11 and 12 of Witch Hat Altera. And I really like this series. And I don't review them anymore because they're so spread apart and now I'm like caught up. So I just don't review them like I did before. I did buy Witch Hat. I actually really like this series. It's really fun. You guys should go check out my old videos of me talking about the series and how much fun it is. But yeah, I bought this one. I actually bought the same day I bought the Lovecraft book. So yeah, so I'm probably gonna read this already. So, yeah. So, I am actually slowly buying these books because I actually want to read them. I read, I mean, I watched the whole show. Now, I just want to read them and then I can review them and talk to them about you, with you guys on here. And that is Attack on Titan. I bought the first four volumes of it. There's a used bookstore that sells these for like $7 each. So, I just go in every time I get paid and buy two. I need volumes five and six next and go from there. But, yeah, I've just been slowly buying some Attack on Titan. I'm really happy about it. It's one of my all-time favorite animes of all time. So I can't wait to actually read it too. Like, I know what happens, but at the same time, I'm just looking forward to it. So I did some crazy buying this year too. I watched Jujutsu Kaisen last year, season two, and I thought it was just a banger. So I wanted to read all of Jujutsu Kaisen. So I bought 21 volumes. Well, technically, no, 23 volumes of Jujutsu Kaisen. So I have the whole series currently, and I haven't read them yet. I did a poll, and you guys chose Kaiju number eight over Jujutsu Kaisen. So after Kaiju number eight, I'm finished with the volumes I have of Kaiju number eight. I'm actually gonna read all of Jujutsu Kaisen probably this year because I like JJK. It's actually a really good anime. Speaking of Kaiju number eight, I bought six volumes of it. I think there's nine or 10 currently out. So I bought the first six. I haven't bought the other ones yet. 
and I reviewed this first volume back in January. So if you guys want to go check that one out down below. Yeah, I did review this one and I really liked it. It kind of gave me like One Punch Man vibes. So that's why I did it. But yeah, so Kaiju number eight was a banger and really liked it. So I'm like, I'm just gonna read the rest of them. So I did, did that community poll where, you know, you guys chose and you guys picked Kaiju number eight. So I'm gonna read all the volumes I have currently and then I'll probably just do a giant review of it. So speaking of childhood memories, I didn't know that most of these books I have in my hand right now were actual books. I just knew them from movies and I bought them because they were used. And I actually wanna do a video of this author of reading these three books i might just do a whole giant review of like video of them in the future we'll see but i bought matilda witches and bfg and i was really excited i kind of want to like i said I, I might do a video of revisit while well, reading these three for the first time because i've never had and probably next year maybe i'll do that next year because i my whole plans this year are just packed and i'll have to think of content ideas for next year but yep i bought these three i used bookstore the same day i bought weave world like my girlfriend and i went there and she was buying records and she had like three records in her hand and she looked i just had a giant stack of books and vhs tapes in my arms so that was hilarious so we have five books left and they're all from one series and this is something i might do a revisiting series because i actually remember reading these as a kid and i went to salvation army and they had 12 of them but i bought five and a little bit of me wishes i just bought all of them honestly i just didn't know if i was gonna read them and now i'm like dang i was gonna read them and that is american chillers i don't know if you guys remember american chillers but i sure do and i bought all five of these and it's salvation army for a dollar a piece that's why i wish i bought the other ones because i'm like it's 12 bucks if i don't like them i'll just get rid of them it wasn't like that deep of investment but yeah i did buy all american chillers and i was actually quite happy with that because i did not expect to enjoy this but i'm just super excited i might do another i might do a video of reading all of these next year i like doing the revisiting series it's kind of fun like i did the spider book chronicles this year i think next year i'm going to try and do two we'll see though this is definitely going to be one of them but I'm actually pretty excited. So those are all the books I bought currently for the year. Like I said, I think it was about 60 total books because I didn't show you all the manga I bought, just the first volumes of some. And it was just a lot. As you guys can see, I bought a lot of books. That's the price about just being a reader, you know? If you guys made it to the end of the video, I do appreciate it. Make sure you guys check out all my socials down below. Make sure you guys comment and let me know what books you guys bought currently this year. What's your favorite buy of the year so far? Mine personally was Weave World. I just thought it was just interesting. I finished Hellbound Heart and I was like, boy, I really want to read some more Clive Barker. And then just, I found Weave World, which is like his most popular book. Hardcover, perfect good, perfectly good condition. And it was just like right there. So I think that was my favorite buy of the year currently. And of course, last but not least, make sure you guys stay safe, stay humble, and tell someone you love them. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay weird. Thank you.